Hey everyone and welcome to a very long overdue base tour video of the community cluster. So, uh, overdue, I'm just gonna leave it at that. No excuses for why it's taken so long, but I am going to be covering all the bases from Scorched Earth and Aberration. Thus leaving Ragnarok until afterwards because there is a lot of bases in Ragnarok, a couple of new ones on the island, not to mention Extinction and Genesis. And probably Genesis 2 and Fjorda by the time I finish this. So, <laughs> First one's first then, is my base, which I'm sure a lot of you probably recognise, but it's been quite a while since Scorched Earth. It really has been a while. So I will have like a quick little look at this. It's, uh, well, this really, this really is all there is to it. Um, I'm not the best builder, but I made enough space. <laughs> I definitely made enough space. And uh, I wanted to be finally live in a greenhouse design because, you know, Scorched Earth, greenhouse, stupid. That's all nice and lush and pretty. Definitely stole the uh, the plant idea from Blue Tail in a previous base tour video, which if you haven't seen, I really would recommend because, my God, there were some beautiful bases in that video. So now that we have my terrible base out of the way, here's the one I really love. And this was built by Loki, belonging to Loki, Draki, Annie and Sarah, and me, I definitely moved in here. This is just one of my favorite bases period in all of Ark. Loki has done such a good job with this. It's so beautiful and she was gonna take this down. So this is the whore complex. Um, don't ask. And <laughs> she's done, like they've all done so many like lovely little details. I think this little pond hills by everyone. Uh, let's see. Their greenhouse is adorable. Probably a little bit uh, unkempt. Yeah, it's a little bit unkempt, but it still looks like it's growing. How about dung beetles alive? That's not a dung beetle, never mind. But yes, looking lovely. I just love how they actually utilize like all the dyes and such. Another little pond, well, actually a water vein, but a pond. Um, <laughs> this is Loki's house, a little bee tower, which is so stinking cute. All the canvas, uh, like painted canvas walls as well, all the beehives. Uh, let's see. The building itself is awesome. We'll look at the building in a moment. There is... I'm not sure what the purpose of this is, actually. I cannot remember. It was a long time ago now. Probably for, like, dropping things into Tame. They have an actual Tame and Trap as well. Garfield and Jerry. Not gonna ask. Uh, there's also... Yep, yeah, there you go. Their little hatchery area. Which, again, is just really, really sweet. And this is where Annie sleeps. So she just sleeps in the ribs. As one does. Got like a little, little table there, bonfire, a um, soul terminal, and a bed. <laughs> the little goat is <laughs> so, so cute. Like they actually did just such a good job. And this is just the outside. Although, to be fair, the outside is absolutely magical. Uh, Wizard Tower. This was where Loki built my place of an aquarium. And this was like mainly a watchtower, which she then turned into my place because once I saw their base, I completely lost any love I had for mine. You know, what little I had in the first place was absolutely gone. And then if we go into the actual base itself, oh, look at that, Alpha Manticore, Alpha Death Worm. <laughs> it's not a whore house, it's a whore home. Ah, uh, see, it's just such a sweet little base. Very effective on the inside, very, very functional. And, oh, hold on. Is that a... There's a little Jaboa. Is that a living Jaboa? That's definitely a Dermis. Or a taxidermy. <laughs> a little captured Jaboa. And if we go upstairs, oh, there is a... That, that, that is, that, that is, that is fantastic. I forgot about that. Oh my God, she was gonna take this down. Unbelievable. Cute little study up here. War drums, <laughs> the worship cabbage with a donut tribute. Again, don't ask. <laughs> a little balcony up here. Just like a nice little, oh, nice little humble place. Did I put something in here? I feel like I put something one of these, didn't I? I, I feel like I did. I'm pretty sure that somewhere in this base is like a little mug and I left something in there. I cannot remember, but I'm pretty sure I am guilty. And this one here is Draki's room, I believe, with a, yeah, that's definitely Draki's, of the bat beds, or onyx beds. Ah, oh, it's so cute, got a little corner over here. Oh no, you are very bloody, you are starving. Um, berries? Any, any berries, any berries whatsoever. Literally nothing in the base. Oh God, frantically spawning berries, gotta save the Jaboa, there it goes. Oh, and it's alive now, ooh. 
That was close. Poor thing, absolutely abandoned. Don't worry, I'll feed it. A couple of little books, a camera, a little ship in the bottle. Ah, uh, see, this is just this is such a cute little base. This is, see, this is why I like doing little base tours. Uh, oh, wait, is this Dra wait, this is Drakey's. What was that, Sarah's? This is Drakey's. The other one was Sarah's. I think I've actually forgotten now. I think this one's Drakey's. She's cursed enough to have a hot tub. Yes, this is why I like doing the base videos. Some people do like these really beautiful. Very creative bases, like the little shag carpet there for the grass and the actual eco decor grass. <laughs> it's adorable. Now, on the topic of amazing bases, there is also this. This is by Team Rocket. And I'm sure you can wonder why, or you can guess why even. So, I have never been in here before. This is going to be very interesting. Why is that an element node? Why is there a floating... Outlet. Okay, well, this is already off to an interesting start. There's a wyvern right there. Perfect. Um, artifacts and non. Wait. Artifacts, non artifiction. <sighs> there is Manticore Dermis here. Oh. oh. I guess not then. <laughs> oh. Um, cargo hold down. So that's a cargo hold. Okay, I see that. I like how they've got their signs everywhere. There's kib, bug meat, fruit, soup, and veggie, and chicken butt. I regret doing this video already. I want to log off and never do this video again. <laughs> I like the storage solution, probably for the different people. So I remember that um, Team Rocket was like another fairly large tribe. A lot of people are taking a break now. Uh, dino area ahead. That is a good amount of space for the dino area. Crafting room ahead. Why is all the floating outlets? Why would they do- is there like actually cables beneath as well? Or they just- what- what- what have they done? Hold on. Hide nearby wires. Th there's just floating outlets. I cannot find the cabling. Well that is absolutely infuriating. <gasps> alpha Manticore! So they did do Alpha Manticore! Wait, what is going on in there? Hold on, I... Adobe Lounge. That sure is an Adobe Lounge. That sure is a dodo. Oh, this is wonderful. Ghost, Myrtle, Vianesh, Ghee, Egg, Gremlin, Ghast, Ghost, and Mermel. I... <laughs> I'm glad I get to see this. <laughs> I love their nicknames, that's adorable. These stairs go up. These aren't st that's a ramp. That's a ramp. Bad. Ooh. Oh, it sure does go up though. Oh, this is adorable. Are they alive? Oh, they're alive. And they don't have the black box of death. Oh my God, and that is a fair bit of oil. Oh, this is really, really cool. It'd be amazing that Wilvin just came over and landed. Oh, what, a, what an interesting design. That's really, really creative. I like it. So I've just noticed I'm already 12 minutes into my recording and we've only seen three bases. So I think I'll just leave a scorched death for now. There's no sense in squeezing everything into a single video. That's just silly. Especially when people have made some really cool bases. So we'll keep this as a scorched death one. This is the Oil Village. And this is like another really big tribe. As you can tell, I think everyone had their own independent building. And I'll tell you what, the oil, the oil rig village, or oil rig tribe, and the oil village, they did not mess about. They were hard, or they still are. They still are hardcore. So, Bitter Moon's Drink. They made a pub. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, I just, I love the way everyone's utilizing the uh, Alpha Manticore trophy. Oh, that's adorable. And I, I see that ladder. Hold on. Oh, wait, hold on. There we go. Oh, this is cute. Hey, what's in here? A little bit nosy. Oh, nothing. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is adorable. Is that a living Jaboa? This Jaboa is fed. Well, yeah, actually, it's got food. I'll be damned. That Jaboa is not dying anytime soon. I did not know you can place the war map on a table. So there's the pub to the right. To the left is... I'm not sure what this is. I'm not sure what this is. The sign says, uh, the trade shop plebs house whip. Oh, Mind Wolf built this. Now it all makes, now it all makes sense. Our, 
<laughs> Local Floridian. Yep, she would do this. Incredible. <laughs> of course she'd make a turkey. <laughs> oh, this is really cute, that little baby oven. This is cute. Oh, and in here we have like another little fridge. So I think... <laughs> Yeah, so I think in this space everyone did have like their own their own little individual bases, like their own little individual bases within like you know the big complex. So I guess like even their own food, even their own uh, water, etc. Free resources here. Everything's been painted as well. This is what? Why? Why? Why does it look like the floor's covered in blood? What does free resources mean? Why is the floor covered in blood? You know what? Moving on to the next building. Why is there a shark in the desert? <laughs> Why are those plants stretched? What is going on? Okay. Oh, is there a sign for this one? No. Ooh. Ooh. This is bloods. Okay, makes sense now. So this is a uh, blood reapers abode. Wow. Looking absolutely badass as hell. God damn blood, he did not mess about- I like that his throne has a wheel. Blood, you do you, mate. Personal tames. So let's just be a little bit nosy. Oh, no, nothing. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god, you were not messing about, were you? Oh, this is cool. This is really, really cool. I love this. Oh, like a really, really interesting shaped balcony as well. That's so, so cool. Let's see then. To the right, we have yeah, the boss uh, the boss transmitter, of course. Uh, we'll look at the middle one in a moment. So we'll just going around the outer room first. So they, that, that is... What is that? Hold on. That's what plant species Y looks like? I actually never knew. Holy crap. 7,000 hours played, I have never seen the plant species Y before. Huh. Interesting. Oh. I'll be damned. Um, right then, so there is... Oh, this is a drawable little house over here with a jabara on top, that makes sense, and another griffin. Ooh, so this one is lighter. Lots of jaboas. <laughs> uh, anything upstairs? Not quite, not quite. Very spacious, very, very spacious. I guess this person uh, either wasn't finished or maybe just kind of wasn't interested in building, which I get. You know, in every tribe you got like builders and you got people who just want to do other things. I'm one of those people who wants to do other things. That is a lot of spider flags. That is a lot of Megapithecus flags. Why did I bring them over here? <laughs> that is a question. Whose abode is this? Oh, wow. Oh, that's cute. Oh, this is so... Oh, this is so cute. I think I've been here before. I think this is Queen's. Yes, I think she even took me on a tour here once during a live stream. Oh, what the... I, you know, I've always wanted to make a base that actually has rooms, but I find it really hard to put down decor that doesn't have a function. Like, I, I need everything in my base. Like, if, if it doesn't have a function, I don't see the point of putting it down, uh, which is very silly. That's how I feel with bases, unless obviously it's, you know, like, decorative. I mean, like, furniture. I have a very hard time putting down furniture. Structures that I'm not actually going to use. But decor, like, you know, like the vases, like, um, plants and such, I can do. This is really, really cute. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love her use of the, um, the herb rack. Oh my god, this is adorable. Oh. <gasps> God, people on the server do such good builds. It's so, they're so, oh, they're so creative. Oh, look at all the little chibi wivens. Oh, that's adorable. And that reminds me, oh no, that reminds me of so many ideas I had to build. Oh, you know what? I know I just said I don't build, I don't build very well. I don't really like building, but I don't build enough either. Oh crap, this is giving me some ideas. Wow, this is, this. wow, this took a, Right turn in terms of aesthetic. I like it though. Very woodchucky. Aw, cute little bed. The cute little noggling with a milkshake. I think that's a bit of a sus milkshake. 
And over in here, another bedroom. Oh, this is so cute. A little balcony, of course. Gotta have the balcony. That's a like purple manticore flag. Isn't a manticore red? No, the dragon's red. Isn't a manticore orange? I can't remember. That's a really interesting flag. You know what? I just realised. I don't think I looked at this space. No, I didn't look at this space. Oh, this is another really cute one. With a rather disturbing and very real vulture just hovering there. Fair enough. Oh, that's a cute little table. This has got like a much more modern aesthetic. Oh, right. So this one. Oh, okay, okay. So what I did then is I saw the plant species Y and I ran over to that house over there and then Queen's one. Yeah, so this is the one right next to it. A really adorable little outdoor garden. Oh my god, people are so stinking cute. Hello. And upstairs we have a couple of cool little bits of decor. Man, this tribe really loves their bathrooms. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. Wait, hold on. Oh, the curtains. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying this tribe really like their bathrooms. Oh, Lystro. Oh, how cute. Really, really cute. And I, wow, I just realized the carpet, my God, the flooring is crazy. And then we have the big structure in the middle. So this is clearly like the big crafting area. Player skin vault. Right, okay, that is not what I was expecting. I thought it was gonna be a bunch of dermis as they collected. This is better. <laughs> I would not put it past them. Oh my god, 100,000 sulfur. That's a lot of cementing paste. That's a lot of hide. Damn. And, oh, hello. Lovely skin box. Great, thanks. Oh, Dino Nom Noms, Yolk Shells, Human Food and Shizzle, Becca's Sub Noise. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Oh, God, man, I gotta pick this up. We got more bases to look at. I'm taking my time here, but it's so cool. Oh, damn, well done. Oh, I was right. Yes, the Manticore is orange or brown. What the hell is that purple one? That's really interesting. Oh, maybe, can you, can you dye flags? Have I even played this game before? So over here is Alpha Blood Claws Base, which is looking definitely much more of a function than anything else. Oh, I don't exist yet. Oh, what is going on there? <laughs> right, yes, this is Alpha's base. So definitely much more function over form, which I respect. I'm definitely the same way um, as we saw in my base that a temple was made and uh, it wasn't very good. This is good though. This is nice. Yeah, but I mean, again, function over form. It's very effective. And there is a lightning storm, of course, of course. Oh, wow. But this lightning storm from Alpha's balcony is creepy as hell. And right next door from Alpha's base, which we can barely see. God, I forgot how small the render range in ASC is compared to ASA. So this is Ender's one. We'll take down base tomorrow. That was a lot of tomorrows ago. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. So, yeah, okay, clearly this was a uh, very temporary base solution for Ender. Oh, wow, it's a shame that Ender wants to take it down, though, because this is really interesting. Oh, see, again, I wish I had the creativity to, like, have all the separate rooms like this. Oh, my, this is, like, yeah, it's a bit hectic. It reminds me of the staircase from Harry Potter. Wait, is that a doorway right there? That, that, that is a door. There's a door right there. Oh, it's a little ladder. Oh no, it's like this thing. Little tiny bedroom. I actually really like this. I wish I had this creativity. Wait, what is going on? Oh, I see. Okay, as you go up this way. That's so interesting. Why? But also, teach me. So over here, we have the Jordas Trials. With some glorious glowing trees. <laughs> you, you know you'll find this space from a long distance away. Really interesting. Um, really interesting, what do you call it? Greenhouse design. And I must say, I quite admire Jordis's concept for a door. Can I go through? No, I definitely cannot. That's, I was really hoping I could. Oh, but the inside's cute. See, this is another thing, actually. CKF. I suck with CKF. Oh, that. Ooh. Do it again. That's, that's ominous. There's like some light shafts going through like in a really interesting way. 
Oh, that's really, really cool. God damn. But like I said, I do need to pick up the pace. We have this gloriously illuminated crystal wyvern, my goodness. And in here, oh, <laughs> that's a little bedroom. Oh, so cute. Oh, I, I love this. I need to do more of this. So over here we have Heidi's base, of whom I have mistook for our base so many times, the one that Loki built at the very beginning. <laughs> it's really just like similar color pattern, CKF. Absolutely gorgeous. And I love the idea of all the torches, hello. That makes it look so ominous. Right then, let's go through the middle. It really is a shame that we have this lightning storm, but at the same time though, it really does help like kind of emphasize like the lighting and such. It really makes it look very, very interesting. Oh, this is like a formidable looking base. Anything outside? No, just a, oh, okay, the crops, of course. Yeah, no, this base just looks very, very formidable, especially in this lighting. So again, very much a function over form one, although they did a good job like giving it a really cool appearance. Not the taxidermy is in the middle there. And the flags, of course. Oh, dude, like, this is a base for people who are ready to go to war. Not ARC PvP war, because obviously, you know, probably be a bit easier to take down, but they are ready for business kind of war. These guys are good to go. Oh, and I have a little little abode over here. What is this? Probably a greenhouse, right? Oh, uh, actually, how do I... Uh, yes, yes, definitely a greenhouse. Maybe even a hatchery, judging by... Oh, there's a door right there. Yes, maybe even a hatchery, judging by the air cons. Or maybe it's so they don't die. That would make more sense. So for our next base, we have Tetralite, who, if I remember correctly, has a really interesting irrigation system set up somewhere. Though I appear to not be able to find it this time. Maybe I'll think of a different base. But they have this really interesting stairway. I mean, it's definitely an effective way to build up on a cliff, that's for sure. A little uh, tunnel right here and a ominous lady ready to boomerang people who come and uh, get involved. Ah, uh, so this is another really cool one. Again, like, I love all these different compartments. I love when people do like all these different compartments, like really utilize the space and the shape pro properly. This, I'm, what, what would this be for actually? I guess a way for like dung beetles to travel around, but there's already dung beetles upstairs. Interesting. Oh, and it's another, oh, another bit up here. <laughs> Are you alive? Yes. So, so far it was just Sarah's Jaboa that was nearly starving away. So this base here belongs to Snowy Cuda, as you can probably imagine was much more of an island player, which is fair, you know, Scorch Earth isn't for everyone. But they did a good job here, that's for sure. Their greenhouse is looking, let me just fly up, very interesting. Either they got attacked or they didn't have the time to finish, which either way, fair. <laughs> this is an interesting base. Um, there's not been anything in here. Alright, well, that base belongs to Meeps, which I think is Lucas. Fair, fair. And over here is a really cute base belonging to Sagasa, which you can definitely tell with the purple coloration. I love it. So we go, oh, whoops, go up in here. Thatch floor? Saga, what? Is that actually a thatch? No, it's Adobe. Okay, she just made it look like thatch. Okay, I forgive you now. <laughs> Very nice little quaint home. I really enjoy the two little um, terrariums on the aircon. Oh, oh no, that's like, actually that does not look too bad. <laughs> and over here, yep, I think this is her actual base, judging by the taxidermies and the artifacts and the greenhouse and a random Jaboa. Um, this one, oh, this is cute. A little top hat. Are you starving? You, you are starving. <gasps> Just about to barely starve. Well, it's okay. Have some Tinto Berries. You're fine now. Oh, this is a cute little room. This is really, really cute. We've got not food, food, eggs and kibble. What is not food? That is indeed not food. I completely agree with that. And we check out a <laughs> nice little like, compartments everywhere. A rather ominous camera. I mean, fair, a little bit of CCTV. Understand it. Man, shoot, egg. <laughs> Why? Wait, did she do that? This isn't something Saiga would normally do. I think someone pranked her. <laughs> Why is some of this painted cyan, but not everything? That's so random. Hold on, there's a little uh, balcony here. Yeah, here you go. No, just a one side. That's so random. 
But then on the outside is this greenhouse over here. And her greenhouse is still going. Damn, go you, Saga. She is not messing about. Oh, and it's cute. It's even got like a little tree on top. I like that. Very, very lush. And right next door to Saga is Abe's base, which just ominously lit up. That was actually kind of freaky. Uh, oh, goodness. Base in stasis. Fair. Is that why it just randomly turned on? Oh, interesting. Well, for, you know, for a base that's not really being used, definitely had a very interesting design in mind for it. There we go. And definitely had a pretty solid greenhouse ready to go. So this is a base belonging to Finch, which is, my goodness, quite a shape, isn't it? And I'm gonna guess, yep, <laughs> it happens. Fairly empty one. Okay, well that's concerning. Uh, this is Gnar's base, and he is a destroyer, Thorny Dragon. Trust Gnar to have the Thorny, to the destroyer, Thorny Dragon. But also, check this out. We'll just quickly uh, land here. His base almost lines up with the obelisk, which he said was a complete accident, which is really, really cool. Is that doing any damage? Uh, it's getting shot at. It's not really causing any harm, is it? I guess we'll just, uh, we'll just, we'll just, <laughs> just let it stay there, I suppose. <laughs> This is a really cool base. So I remember Canal said that this was um, inspired by uh, Ice Crown Citadel in World of Warcraft. And you can definitely see it. So we've got Ova still alive in there. My goodness. I love the crystals. Big central area for the forge. Makes sense, of course. Man. <laughs> and a whole bunch of... Yeah, of course, there's like a little uh, crafting area. Whole bunch of women trophies. <gasps> um, A friend. Scran, yucky, yummy, unborn. Cool, okay then. And uh, let's see, what is up here? We have, oh, a balcony, because it's like a really cool looking greenhouse. See, again, people have like all the different multi-levels. Why are people so good at multi-levels? All these different rooms and such. Really cute little study area. Oh, so many cool balconies. Oh, you can just run around. You know what? I love bases that you can play hide and seek in. That's what it is. That's how to describe it. This is a base you can definitely play hide and seek in. And it's so good. That's that's officially what I'm calling it. The hide and seek bases. That is so, so good. And what is going on here? This is obviously an elevator. Oh. Oh, there we go. To the Phoenix taxidermy. Oh, actually, is that taxidermy? No, to the Phoenix. To Allah. <laughs> There you go. Even congratulations, Gnar. You got the ashes of Alar. Perfect. And the destroyer, Thorny Dragon, is really interested in the Ovis down here. This is clearly his uh, hatching area. Incredible. All right then. We're just gonna uh, gonna admire it for a little bit more. That's so cool. And then we're gonna leave. And for our next base, we've got Silver Dreams, who's done a pretty epic bloody thing. Look at this. My God. She did the same thing as well. Oh. oh. <laughs> on the island. She did the same thing as well on the island. And it just looks so good. I'm not sure which one's bigger. This one or that one. They're both huge. She, she does a really good job of the tree platform pieces. Oh my god. This is so spacious. Which I guess, you know, it really should be. This is the map of Wyverns. And Wyverns are bloody huge. Oh, this is cool. It feels so grand. Like, god damn. There aren't very many bases or like builds in Ark. That make you feel small. But this one, little elevator there, this one is definitely one of them. And I love the random crystal at the very, very top. Little red gems, red crystal. Very ominous. Really, really cool. And then for the final base that I can find, this one belongs to Ender. Which I have to say, Ender built in a very, very brave location, but also a really cool looking location. It never really occurred to me just like how nice of like a building space this is. Like with the uh, rocks kind of like bordering it all. And the natural ledge. That's a really good building location. On vacation, be back in two weeks. I like the stairs. That's a really random thing to think about, but I like the stairs there. Oh, I... Ooh. I wish I was good with CKF. People are so good with this. That is such a cool bit. Bit random with the sheep there, but that is such a cool little entrance. Okay. And that was the final base. This was really, really cool. I regret not doing this sooner, but at the same time, though, I'm glad to be doing it now to experience it all over again. 
because it's been a while since a lot of us played Scorched Earth. It's definitely like the, probably the less touched map now. But there are so many cool builds lingering and I'm really glad that we got to see them. So I'll wrap it up here then. We'll do Aberration in the next one. So thank you all so much for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you feel inspired for your own builds. I know I do. And as always, I'll see you all again next time. Cheers.